there is only one word to describe my early days selling, disaster. But now, having become successful selling myself and working with thousands of salespeople, I get to see a lot of different patterns about what leads to top performance in sales. Sadly, I can't go back in time and share those best practices with the younger me, but I can share them with you. In this video, I'm going to share with you five things I wish I knew before I started selling. Check it out. Number one, nobody cares about you. They only care about themselves. What I challenge you to do is to craft your entire sales process around the idea that it is all 100% about them. We need to stop crafting our message around us and how great we are, focus all on them. Number two, it's a big game. Stop taking anything personally. I see salespeople all the time who struggle with the rejection and the mind games and the avoidance and the cheating, but the reality is that it is all part of the game of sales. We need to be ready to play a contact sport. Number three, nice guys don't win. It's really similar to dating in this way. Nobody wants to be with the super nice person. In sales, prospects really want the in-demand expert who's going to tell it exactly like it is. So treat yourself like an expert and not like some doormat who's just the super nice guy or super nice gal down the street. Number four, get ready for repetition. The most successful salespeople are doing the same exact things over and over and over again. It isn't glamorous, it isn't sexy, but one of the secrets that I've discovered is that once you find what works, repeat it over and over and over again. Number five, avoid the highs and the lows. People who are highly emotional don't make it in sales over the long run. And I mean that on both sides. So on the high end, when you close a sale, you want to celebrate, you want to be excited about it, but don't let it define you. Don't let it be the thing that made your entire year. Instead, enjoy it and then move on and go back to what you're doing. Same thing goes on the low end. When you lose a sale that you've really been fighting for, instead of getting really depressed or sad, instead find out exactly what could have been done differently the next time and then move on. Focus on what has to be done next as opposed to dwelling on the fact that you lost a sale. So there are five things that I wish I knew before I started selling. I want to hear from you. Which of these ideas did you find most useful? Be sure to share in the comments section right below and I will be sure to respond to every single comment that I can get to. And if you enjoyed this video, click right here, right here, for a free ebook on 25 tips to crush your sales goals. Seriously, it's an amazing ebook and it's free, so just click right here. Also, if you got some value out of this video, please like this video below on YouTube because it really helps me out. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking right here, that little red button right there, to get access to a new video just like this one each week.